Hey man, thanks for checking out Billy the Kid Adventures. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the notorious events from London's history. The Tower of London is best known today as home to the crown jewels, but it also includes a dark, notorious history as both a prison, execution location, and torture site. Prisoners were tortured at the tower on either the rack, where they were stretched out and had their limbs torn apart, or put inside the scavenger's daughter, in which the prisoner's body was painfully compressed. Prisoners tortured in the scavenger's daughter would eventually spurt blood from their ears, nostrils, and other body parts. Few prisoners lasted very long before confessing to something, whether true or not. Execution of nobility via beheading occurred on nearby Tower Green. Here's the axe used in those executions right behind me. Most prisoners who were commoners housed at the Tower of London were executed at nearby Tower Hill. Public executions were quite the spectator event back in the day, and the worse the crime, the more painful and severe the type of execution. Beheading was considered the most benevolent type of execution, as it was swift with limited suffering. As compared to the slower, more painful process of being burned to death or being hung, drawn, and quartered, which was used primarily for the crime of treason. The convicted traitor was drawn or dragged on a wooden panel by horse to the gallows, and then hung almost, but not quite to the point of death. While still alive, they were then beheaded and quartered into four pieces. After being quartered, the traitor's head was often displayed atop London Bridge to serve as a warning to other potential traitors. A person employed with the title of Keeper of the Heads maintained and displayed the heads atop of the bridge. With a new arrival, the keeper would toss an older rotting head into the river. When London Bridge was rebuilt, numerous skulls were found at the bottom of the river. After a grisly tour at the Tower of London, some folks head over to the Hung, Drawn, and Quartered Pub, located by Tower Hill's old execution site. The pub even has a memorial sign commemorating Major General Harrison's death via being hung, drawn, and quartered. Inside the elegant, hung, drawn, and quartered pub is even a framed reference to the Treason Act of 1351, explicitly detailing cause for punishment by being hung, drawn, and quartered. For lunch at the pub, I opted for their tasty meat pie displayed in the video. That is, after checking the meat pie wasn't based on any recipe like those pies prepared by Mrs. Lovett of Sweeney Todd fame. And speaking of Sweeney Todd, the legendary demon barber of Fleet Street, for those not aware, Fleet Street in London does indeed exist. A story a few years ago published by The Londonist actually shows a Sweeney Todd barber shop on Fleet Street from a century ago. A high-profile, grisly execution in London was that of Captain Kidd, hanged not once, but twice, at the nearby execution dock. After being convicted of piracy, Captain Kidd was to be hanged in a public execution on May 23, 1701, at execution dock in London near the Thames River. After the rope broke on the first attempt, some of the crowd called for Kidd's release, 
claiming the breaking of the rope was a sign from God. Despite crowd sentiment, Captain Kidd was hanged again minutes later, this time for good. His body was then tarred and placed in a metal cage where his body dangled over the Thames River on display for a couple of years to deter other would-be pirates. No narrative of London's dark side would be complete without stopping by the Ten Bells pub. Linked to a couple of victims, Jack the Ripper. Around since the middle of the 18th century, the beautiful Victorian Ten Bells pub derived its name from the number of bells at Christ Church next door. Several Jack the Ripper accounts link Annie Chapman and Mary Jane Kelly to the Ten Bells pub, with Mary Kelly believed to be the final victim of the Ripper. Mary Kelly's disemboweled and badly mutilated body was found in her nearby apartment. The film From Hell, based on the Jack the Ripper saga, includes a scene filmed at the Ten Bells pub in which Johnny Depp, as real-life chief inspector, Frederick Eberlein of the London Metropolitan Police has a drink with the eventual Ripper victim, Mary Kelly. Another infamous London location is the Ostrich Inn, home to over 60 murders. Built in 1106, the 17th century proprietors, Mr. and Mrs. Jarman, had a special room for some of their more, let's say, well-off guests. The Germans had a special bed contraption with a trap door that would drop their sleeping guest into a vat of boiling liquid and then dispose of their bodies in the nearby river after collecting their deposed guest's valuables. Nice pub and inn, but confess, I'm not sure if I want to spend an evening there. Over in London's fabled West End Theatre District, was able to see the musical Six, based on the six wives of the notorious King Henry VIII, a couple of whom he ended up beheading. Six retells the lives of the six wives of Henry VIII as a pop concert, with the wives taking turns singing about their lives with Henry, bemoaning who suffered the most while with him. There's even a rhyme to help folks remember the outcome of King Henry's six marriages, oft repeated during six. Divorced, beheaded, died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. And sad to say, I didn't make it to the Bucket of Blood pub out in Cornwall. The pub is named after an incident where the landlord brought up a bucket of blood from the building's well, without knowing a murdered smuggler had been dropped in there. Thanks again for checking out Billy the Kid Adventures. For more adventures, check out my video featuring some cool London rock and roll sites, along with my graphic novel, Hey You Punks, about growing up on Cleveland's gritty near west side. Links are below.